alleged coup leader denies attempt to overthrow Barrow. Lance Corporal Sana Fadera, the alleged ringleader of three soldiers and a police officer. Accused of last December's coup plot has denied any wrongdoing as he opens his defense. In his testimony of defense, Fadera dismissed the allegations made by prosecution witnesses, particularly the testimonies of Captain Mamet Job and Sergeant Karamo Jada whose evidence linked him to the alleged coup plot. He is standing trial with Sergeant Gibral Darbo, Corporal Abri Masano and Sub-Inspector Fabakari Jawara on charges of treason. Concealment of treason and incitement of mutiny before Justice Basra Mahoney of the High Court in Banjul they denied all. Charges, Omar G. who was one of the accused persons was released last Wednesday after a successful no case. Submission by his lawyer further testifying Fad Era denied discussing anything with Mamet Job about overthrowing the government I have never spoken to him at any time regarding this. Alleged coup, he told the court, dismissing Job's allegation that he informed him that he was the ringleader he said Job's claim. That he showed him the operational plan is also false Sergeant Karamo Jada had also given evidence that Fad Era showed him the operational plan and deployment of commandos which was admitted as evidence by the prosecution, however. When the said document was shown to Fad Era by his lawyer Lemon S. Kamara he said that was his first time seeing it. I'm not the author of the operational plan of the alleged coup. This is above my knowledge because such plans are planned by the high command, he testified. According to Fad Era, he is not in position to deploy commandos in the Gambia National Army as he is a lance corporal which is a first rank. I'm not the author of the operational plan of the alleged coup this is above my knowledge because such plans are. Planned by the high command he testified according to Fad Era he is not in position to deploy commandos in the Gambia National Army as he is a lance corporal which is a first rank I am not entitled to move any soldier in the armed forces he argued. Asked by his lawyer what rank in the military can move commandos Fad Era responded that from a corporal to a second. Lieutenant. However, he said a corporal at the command level is not entitled to move soldiers without the authority of the lieutenant. Responding to Sergeant Jada's claims that he attended a meeting in Kafuta allegedly discussing how to overthrow the government, Fad Era said there was never a meeting, he said he in fact denied the claim when he was confronted by the investigation panel into the issue he also denied discussing with Sergeant Jada of plans to give away 200 jujus to soldiers. Taking part in the said alleged coup that he also described the allegation that he was going to promote soldiers after the coup as false. Fad Era also dismissed accusations that he was going to arrest ministers including the CDS and IGP who were going to be used as hostages to avoid military intervention did you tell him weapons intended for use in the December 30th attack will be used by your soldiers for the alleged coup plot his lawyer asked and Fad Era responded no. Because I have no idea about the weapons he mentioned Fad Era also denied telling Sergeant Jada that he has. Ammunition including four rockets, tanks, night goggles and combat helmets that he further denied telling him that the transition period will be one year after agreeing with the civilians all the alleged interactions with Jada did not happen. He also slammed the first witness, Bara Turi who said in court that he Fad Era wanted him and his men at the Yundam. Barracks to join him to overthrow the government that he said he had never spoken to Turi about the alleged coup attempt. On the issue of the Marabu, Yaya Manjang who testified as a state witness in this case Fad Era said he does not know him and has never met him or sent anyone to see him nor has he spoken to him on the phone. Subscribe to Sparta King Sparta thanks for watching.